It's a far cry from the days of the Roman legions, who chose York as the most important centre of North Britain, to the city of today, yet the effect of their occupation still remains. It has been said that the history of York is the history of England, and it certainly has at least 2,000 years to its credit. About 600 years after the Romans left Britain, William the Conqueror built a fortress in York, part of which is known as Clifford's Tower. York is entered by a number of gates, or bars, Warmgate Bar dating from the reign of Edward I. The Shambles, mentioned in the Doomsday Book, is typical of York in the Middle Ages, and are said to mark the site of the palace of the Roman emperors. The top stories of these beam and plaster houses overhang the street. As you know, York is a walled city, part of which dates from Roman times, but none was built later than the 14th century. To the inhabitants, the wall is at once a source of pride and a pleasant walk. But perhaps the greatest pride of York is the Cathedral of St. Peter, generally known as the Minster. From a small wooden building erected 1300 years ago, in which Edwin, King of Northumbria, was baptized by Paulinus, a missionary from Rome, the Minster grew, after many vicissitudes, to perhaps the most dignified of English cathedrals. The city of York stands on the banks of the River Ouse, a monument to all that is best in our history.